about an hour, maybe so. A little decent combo. Feel free to feel free to hit the like button. I mean, the request button. Muslims only. Naked truth. Hey, how's, how's it going, man? Good, good. I'm fine. How's everything with you? Pretty good, man. I, I, I uh. You know what's funny is that there was a there was a conversation that was had earlier today, and there was a question that was asked, and I thought that. I really thought that it made sense, right? Yeah, I mean, the question really makes sense. So are you under the impression that the Torah and the Angel doesn't exist? They exist. Oh, they, okay, so, okay, cool. Well, perfect. Okay, so they do exist. I mean, either or, either way is, is, is you know, I would like to dissect, but okay, so you believe that the Torah and the Angel do exist, okay. Can you explain to me where is it then, if you believe it exists? Well, the Injil is to be found in the four accounts of, of the life of Jesus. So there is fragmentary evidence of that. And likewise for Torah, there's also fragmentary evidence in there uh, of, of the revelation of, of God that came to Prophet Moses. And plus on top of that, what, what is the essential uh, belief system uh, in the Torah and the gospel? They are also contained. Yo, yo, in yo. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Go ahead, Nagy. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, so, so the, the essential part of the teachings of Jesus is to, is to be found in the four gospels. And the essential message of, of Moses is to is to be found in the first five books of Moses uh, is there, not in totality, but in fragmentary form. Wow, that's interesting. So you okay, that's very interesting. So you believe that Moses are signed. So you believe that it's 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 in fragmentary. Say that again. Yeah, it, 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 meaning that uh, those statements are there, mm -hmm. right, in bits and pieces or in, in fragments, but not in totality. Uh, for instance, if you take the, uh, the, uh, the Torah, there are like more than 700 statements in which, uh, uh, in which God is not the speaker, nor Moses is the speaker, but there's a third party that is giving a narrative that's telling a story about God and Moses. And Moses died at the age of 120. Moses said to God and God said to Moses. So there's a third person who is who's giving that story. But even in that story, uh, the essential parts of the message uh, uh, that was given to Prophet Moses is there. The, the okay. idea of monotheism you, of yeah, God, you, for instance. I, yeah. I one example, then, uh, uh, you know, uh, hear O Israel, our Lord, God, Lord is one. And to love him with all your heart, with all your soul, right. with all your might. And right. your mind. So I, I believe that's a true statement. There's no problem with that statement. Yeah, I mean, I, I know. That, so, yeah. so I know as a Muslim that that statement for sure is one that you would bank on for sure. But is there a clear distinction? Right, right. So we're there, talking about NGL and Torah, yes? Yo, what is going on, dude? What the heck with, bro? You serious? <laughs> the moment I start speaking, you, you say what's going on. But you didn't say that when the Naked Truth was talking. I'm responding to him, bro. Have some patience. Uh, so I, I do understand that that verse right there is one that you would bank on. But you do know that the Torah, the first five books of Moses, are 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 more than just that, right? It's an establishment of the relationship between God and His people, Israel, uh, uh, Jacob. You know what happened to Joseph and so on, and Moses leading the people to the Promised Land, like. There are a lot of things that are taking place. Right. In it, life. I want to ask you a question, Life. Are you Christian? Yes. Both of you guys are Christians. Okay. When you learn some respect, bro, you can come back up. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know if you heard me talking or not. I don't know if you hear me having a conversation with the naked truth, but I, I don't know what, I don't know what you want right now, bro. Like we not finna do that tonight. Uh, so yeah, so the naked truth. Um, so I understand that the hero o israel the lord your god is one i understand that that is what you can say right as far as like you can point to that to say well look see there's bits and pieces of the truth in there but you've only quoted a verse that 
matches up with what your Quran says, God is one. That's actually not really proving anything because if the Bible says God is one and the Quran says God is one, then how are you invalidating the rest of the Bible just by that statement alone? Right. So any monotheistic statement, and there are tons of them in, in the Bible, they are all valid. Any statement that blurs uh, monotheism, then we are careful about that. Or, or anything that is immoral, that is contained, right? it's not something that's not befitting uh, uh, the majesty of God, then we question that thing. Otherwise, I don't have any, much of a problem uh, 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 in the Bible. For instance, if you say uh, uh, Lot got drunk and had uh, I-N-C-E-S-T uh, mm -hmm. with his daughter, mm -hmm. I, I, I say no, I don't believe in that. If you say, for instance, Noah got drunk and he was lying naked, I said no, that's not befitting the status of a prophet. Okay, mm -hmm. things of that nature, I, I have my reservation. But monotheistic statements, moral statements, statements pertaining to law, uh, which qualify to be moral, I, I believe them to be uh, to be divine, uh, uh, you know, at least in, 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 in meaning. I, I don't have issues with that. Right, okay, so there's, okay, so that's not really a, a, a way to invalidate a position. That's basically just, you're confirming what you believe and what you think. It's just literally basically like, well, it, it, it feels good to me. So I'm going to go in here and uh, see what matches up with what my book says. And still, you've only given me really like an example of, of here, you know, the God is one. Any statements of monotheism, you, 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 you authentic, well, you don't even authenticate. You just basically say you believe it. You don't really know if that statement in itself is verified. So with that being said, I understand that because in your Quran, it says God is one. So when you see any state, I mean, you could, we can do the same thing anywhere, like any other scriptures. Like if you have somebody claiming to create their own religion right now, and they come out and in their scriptures, it says God is one, you're going to validate that. You're still going to be able to, you're still going to validate that. You guys, well, everything else he's saying is wrong, but I do believe what he said when he said God is one. It may not be the God that he said it is, but I do know that that statement is true. That's not necessarily validating how you know that bits and pieces of the Torah is still here just by saying there's some of it in there that I that I agree with. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so the thing is like my yardstick or my criteria or rather the criterion is the Quran, like, likewise for you is the Bible. So when you're judging the Quran, I'm sure you're using the Bible. And when I'm studying the Bible, I, my, my, my yardstick is the Quran. So where they meet and when they're uh, in conformity, I have no issues. It's, uh, you know, if, well, when actually, they differ, no. well, when well, they actually, differ. Actually, actually, no, my yardstick is not the Bible. My yardstick is the truth. Right. So, okay. so, so if, if, if I come to your book with a, with a preconceived notion that my book is the truth, anything that disagrees with this in your Quran is automatically false. That would be a disingenuous position coming from me. So when I first came to the Quran, I came to the Quran with an open heart, but the moment I started seeing errors as far as the crucifixion, uh, store biblical stories that are being told granted that's a that's a that's a slippery road we can go down but biblical stories that are being retold right and I started seeing statements that are very very hard to verify using biblical scriptures without scrambling and cherry picking it's tough to actually validate anything that's being said in the Quran based on how the Quran reads itself so no it's not just me saying I believe in the Bible, so when I come here, I'm just gonna disbelieve, ev you know, everything that I read. No, that's what you're doing. That's so, what you're doing. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm trying, to, I'm, I'm trying to get you to break that mold, okay? Because because here's because here's the problem, right? You 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 tried to you tried to validate how well, yeah, we do have the Torah and the Injil, and then you mentioned that the Torah was the first five books given to Moses, which I don't know where you got that information from, but somehow you believe you know, the Torah contained five books. Then all of a sudden you said, we do have the four gospels of, of, of Jesus, but I don't know where you got that from because it, 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 nowhere in your religion does it say gospels, the gospels contain 
you know, four books, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but if it does, then we can look into that, but that would be a little bit problematic. So, okay. so what I want to do here is I want to try to pick apart that ideology and not specifically argue mute points. You know what I mean? Like, let's, okay. let's hone in on your thought process on, on what you just stated. I'm going to need for you to prove to me Mm -hmm. The specific things that you read in the Torah that you disagree with are 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 whatever you believe is it, it is it, whether you believe it's an addition whether you believe it's a change or something you're gonna need to prove that because disagreeing with the scripture because it disagrees with your book is not a good position. Okay, so <clears throat> you said that in order to discern or ascertain the truth, so we are going to use a reason logic and morality right the, 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 and evidence right and and uh, the, the theory of, of truth says any statement or any narrative it has to have coherence meaning that internally the dialogue or the narrative has to be consistent right it cannot contain uh, 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 contradictions secondly it has to correspond with with, with reality Right, so they can't be the scripture is saying something else, but uh, the, the reality, meaning the universe, is saying something else. Right, that would be a contradiction. Uh, and the th third thing is, it has to be uh, practical. Right, meaning that uh, pragmatic, it has to be. You must be able to put it into practice. It can't be just just be a pie in the sky. Rather, it, sh it should be uh, uh, pragmatic. Now, so so the thing is, this is one way to to see, you know, whether any scripture uh, is true or not. OK, and then also you have to, uh, uh, you know, uh, intellect and morality, they are ingrained in human nature. And, and these are the uh, two tools we'll have. Everybody has them. Everybody has them and uh, we are going to use them. So whenever we are talking about scriptures, so any state in the Quran or the Bible or any uh, scripture, we are, we are going to bring these tools to the table in order to uh, find out what, what is rationally uh, possible what is uh, well, ascertainable you, you know you, you know when i you know when i use those tools let's just use one key point in those tools right um because i would agree to some sort right not 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 as not as not as uh, uh as crazy as you not as crazy as you guys put it but i would agree to some sort that those standards should be held now when we use the consistency point your quran fails because hence the title we haven't been able to verify this you haven't you, you, no muslim has ever been able to verify this without claiming corruption of scripture so if corruption of scripture is the only way that you can somewhat get a, get get away with trying to verify and cherry pick don't you believe that that's a little that's 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 a little crazy. Like, for example, if me and you got into a conversation about whether Muhammad's in the Torah and the Injil, whatever verse you pull up, I'll just go somewhere else in the Bible that'll 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 destroy okay. that point. Mm -hmm. That'll destroy him from being the prophet in that book. And then you just say it's corruption. So there's you've already you've already created your out for not being able to accept the truth about him not being in the Bible. No, you no, understand no, what I'm saying? No, yeah, yeah, I understand, but that's not my position. I said, well, we're going to argue the point back and okay. forth till till okay. till it is settled. Okay, uh, so show me where he is in the Torah and the Injil. Then. Okay, so so let me just uh, 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 let me go into the New Testament first, if you if you want me to, uh, and then sure. okay. So all right, so he he is so the Quran makes a statement that Jesus prophesied the coming of Prophet Muhammad or Ahmad, okay. Alayhi salam. Alayhi salam simply means bless, peace and blessings be upon him. So mm -hmm. we, we, are, we, we are required to say that whenever you mention Jesus or any other prophet or messenger, we say that. Anyway, so uh, so the thing is... You just time, mentioned Jesus and you didn't say it. Well, uh, okay, peace be upon Jesus as well. It's no problem. Not only we say Isa, but it, Jesus is fine too. It's no issue. So the thing is, at the time of Jesus, you know, uh, and, uh, and John the Baptist, you mm -hmm. know, they were waiting for three different personalities to appear. So John the Baptist was questioned, are you the Christ? And he said, no, I'm not. Then he said, are you Elijah? And he said, no, I'm not. Then look at the third question, are you the prophet? He said, no, I'm not. A similar question was put to Jesus as well. He said, are you the Christ? He says, 
Yes, I am. Then say, well, but Elijah was supposed to come before the coming of, of the Christ. And Jesus says, Elijah came, but you didn't recognize him in the form of John. Although John denies that there's a contradiction a little bit there, but, uh, but that's not my uh, point right now. Maybe he came in the, in the spirit of John the uh, uh, Baptist. So having said that, moving on to the next uh, uh, point, Jesus is, is his, his, uh, his giving the Pharisees and the Israelites and the, and the Israelites a warning. He says, he says, therefore I tell the, uh, therefore, I tell you, I, that the I, kingdom of I'm, God. Hold on, hold on. The negative truth. I'm confused. I haven't, I haven't got, I haven't gotten a verse where Muhammad is. What, what are you dissecting first? No, right, right now I'm just sort of like setting the stage. Then I'm going to bring uh, through the prophecies of Jesus. <laughs> what is that? What is Jesus? Well, hold on, hold on. What is Jesus? What is Jesus? Right, the verses that you quoted about Jesus, which you, which you misquoted, but. The verses you quoted about Jesus, what does it have to do with you supposedly supposed to be giving me of a, a, a proof of Muhammad being found in the Injil? You said, can you go to the New Testament first? I'm allowing that. And you, no, you, no. You've, you're kind of talking about stuff that is irrelevant, to be no, honest. No, no, because I'm saying they were waiting for three people. So Jesus appeared, Elijah came, but they were still waiting for that prophet. Or if you do a cross-reference, that's the uh, prof, uh, prophet in Deuteronomy 18, 18. We'll come to that later on. But here I'm saying that even at the time of uh, John, who's a cousin of Jesus, right? So they're, they're waiting for three people to, uh, to come. So moving forward, so Jesus, he gives a parable. This is, this is known as the parable of the tenants. Uh, and and the, 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 the upshot uh, or the conclusion of the parable is Jesus is saying, he's saying, he will now he's saying he's because you know uh, the uh, the jews had rejected all the prophets and messengers even jesus john jesus they were all rejected so he says he says he will bring those wretches to a wretched end they replied and he will rent the vineyard to other tenants who will give him his share of the crops at the uh, at, at harvest time jesus said to them have you never read in the scriptures the stone the builders rejected ha has become the cornerstone and the lord has done this and it is marvelous in our eyes look now now this is the final part therefore i tell you that the kingdom of god will be taken away from you and given to a people who will bring who, who will uh, produce its fruit anyone who falls on this stone will be broken to pieces anyone on whom it falls will be crushed. So now the, the key point here is that the kingdom of God is taken away from the Israelites, it will be given to another nation. Remember in, in, in Genesis, when God made promise to Ishmael, I will make you a great nation, and I'll multiply you exceedingly and, they, and make you fruitful, and they shall uh, come from your progeny, 12 princes, etc. Uh, so so the, uh, now having said all this, now go to, I'm going to the actual prophecies of Jesus. This is in John chapter 14. Okay, mm -hmm. verse, uh, verses 15 to 17. Now, this is very important here. Uh, a very technical argument here uh, uh, is going to be, I just wanted you to keep an open mind. Later on, you can reject it if you want. But, but you're going to give me a reason for rejecting it. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commands. If you love me, keep my commands. And I will pray to the Father, and he will give you another comforter. Okay, what's, what's the key argument here? Jesus is saying that he's going to pray to God, and God is going to give you another comforter. Who is the first comforter? The first comforter, the Bible will tell you uh, in one of the letters of John, that uh, Jesus is the first comforter. He says, children, if you sin, if you have sinned, worry not, we have Jesus Christ as the intercessor. So now here the, the, the Greek word for comforter is paraclete or parakletos, right? Some have translated that as intercessor. Some have used, used the word comforter, counselor, helper. It's no problem, but I, I, I like the word intercessor. Uh, uh, in Arabic, uh, intercessor means shafi. So Shafi is one of the names of the Prophet Muhammad as well in, in Arabic. Anyways, so, so it says, the key word here is another. Another. 
Now, why that this is the key word? The reason that the Greek word is elon, not hetros. Elon means another of the same kind. Hetero, heteros means uh, another of a different kind. But here Jesus is saying another of the same kind. This comforter or this paraclete or this intercessor who is going to come, he has to be of the same kind like the first one. Like Jesus said, hey, spirit has no flesh and bones as you see me have. Right. And Jesus came as a human being in, in the flesh. Right. As, as a son of man, 80 times. So this other comforter has to be a, a human being uh, uh, like Jesus. And he says he will abide with you forever, even the spirit of truth. Abiding you with ever uh, forever simply means that in teachings. OK, now going to the uh, another argument, same same place. Yeah, but so no, we'll, do, we'll do we'll do one at a time. OK, we'll, sure. we'll do one at a time. OK, so. Out of everything that you just said, do you realize that you're using John? Remember, remember early on, right? Remember early on when I first told you, I told you if you're going to use anything in here, it's I find it odd that in order to get out of anything, you'd have to establish some form of corruption. OK, so if, if you're going to demonstrate that, right, well, then we're just going to have a problem. So the first thing that I'll tell you is this, when you use the book of John, you're going to have to accept whatever else John says. And if you don't, well, then you've ran yourself back into the problem that I stated we will have when having this conversation. So you went to John 14, correct? Yeah. All right. So you said, did you, you, you went uh, John uh, 15 or you started from 25? <laughs> uh, my next verse was going to be uh, four, uh, chapter 14, verse 26. And he says, uh, but the counter... Yeah, I got it. Okay. So it says, so it says, uh, these things I have spoken to you while being present with you, but the Holy, but the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. Now I'm going to stop there before I read the rest, right? It, it, I might not even need to. It says that and bring to you your remembrance things that I said. Okay. Now we know that Jesus made statements in the Bible. Right? Yeah. Okay. So when we go into when we go into John, okay, we see that Jesus says that no one can get to the Father except through him. Do you believe that statement? Yeah. You, you, you believe that? Do you know, you know what that statement meant, right? Accepting him as right. our Lord, as our Lord and savior, not just believing in Jesus can get you to the father, accepting that, accepting him as your Lord and savior. I, 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 yeah. As the, as the Messiah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The one, yeah. The one who, yeah. The, the, the one who underwent under, underwent the death, burial and resurrection. Okay. That, that part is debatable. But if you would stick to the teach what the statements that he made, not what the gospel right he embellished, but rather what the statements made by Jesus himself, you'll find that in red writing. Go ahead. I'm confused. That, that is in red writing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That, that's fine. We will come to that part. Okay. We don't want well, to. That's, that's the that no that that's the that's the point. So if we're in John, the verse that you read, it says that this let's just say person right for you. This person will bring to your remembrance all things that I said. So do you think that that person would contradict what he said? Or do you think that person would actually be in line with what he said? I, I think that he's going to confirm what Jesus preached, the gospel. Thank you. So now, did Muhammad do that? Yes. No, he did not Not according to the book that you're reading right here. Within this same chapter from this same author, John, that you're reading from, you're, 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 you're contradict, you know, you're, you're contradicting yourself in your statements because you're saying on one end, I can trust that this is what is guiding me to believing that this is Muhammad. But then on the other end, you're also contradicting yourself by saying, well, this is Muhammad, but Muhammad disagrees with some of the stuff that's being said in John. So. You, you got to fix the problem first before you go anywhere else in John. 
Right. So, so far, the statements that I made about Jesus, I do not find any contradictions. But as we go along, if you find something contradictory, you can bring it up. Because the other things that you're touching upon, I haven't stated those things yet. You know, so no, I, did. I, 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 I did. I addressed the issue first, which would put us at a standstill. Because if we're if, if, if you want to move forward and you want to try to make a connection between these two verses here and connect it back to Muhammad, it would have to make sense within the context of the actual book. Right. Like you can't just come and pick apart the book. Right. Right. So, so I'm, I'm sticking to the part where Jesus is making prophecies about coming of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, me right? too. So, so I'm on that point because if, if we put too much on the table, you know, the things are going to get convoluted and we'll lose no. the, the no. track of what no. we're saying. No, make, make it true. That's that's literally what I'm doing. I'm, I'm sticking to 26. 26 says that this person would uh -huh. bring to your remembrance all things that I said right and but 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 that's not what muhammad did muhammad like muhammad like did. for instance give me an example okay so for Muhammad okay, didn't confirm the teachings of jesus well muhammad didn't confirm his sonship okay that's one okay. muhammad didn't confirm that he was crucified okay that's two and also muhammad doesn't confirm that through him is the only way you can get to the father because if that was the case he jesus's name would be in the shahada and not muhammad's Okay. So, so that's that's three. Okay. So, uh, uh, just give me like briefly uh, uh, your understanding of what the gospel message was. I'm not talking about his his life story. I'm not talking about the events that took place in his life, the historical part. Just the essential message that he heard from God, the gospel that he was preaching. What? Uh, give me some highlights of that. What do you think that was? Yeah. God would come down in the flesh and save us from our sins through who his son. That? Huh? Uh, who, who said that God would come in the form of flesh? It says, says it, it says it in the it says it in the chapter that you're reading, John. It says it in the book you're reading, John. And and, and who's the speaker? John. <laughs> okay, so so that is the prologue. Of John, this is his opinion. God is not the speaker, nor Jesus is the speaker. So that's his introduction. So he's saying in the beginning was the word, and the word was uh, with God, and word word became a God or the God, etc. That's that's not the gospel, right? Remember, remember earlier, I, I I told you, I find it odd, and you should too, that the only way you can validate try or try to validate anything in the Bible. Is by is by turning a blind eye and disagreeing with the latter passages that are read to you after you quote something in the Bible, and this is exactly what you're doing now. So, no. yeah, you are. No, no, you you said Jesus. No, hold on one second. You're questioning the responses that I'm giving you in the same book that you're reading. Yeah, because the 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 thing is, I'm interested in 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 what Jesus preached as the gospel, as his creed as is his basic law, his teaching. I'm talking about the gospel strictly. Remember the, the gospel writer, uh, writer John or the others, they are giving a historical account. They are, they are giving like a biography of Jesus. In that biography, you have to see what message is Jesus preaching? What was his core message, which he got from God in the form of in Jesus? You know, so uh, the Quran is saying- well, I'm lost. Not the whole story of like, written by John. Didn't, didn't he quote John the Baptist earlier? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he sure did. Why is he quoting John the Baptist if his only focus is the red letters of of Jesus, not what anybody else says? Right. So, so j j that that's that's for because the uh, you know uh, uh, the Christian uh, translators they have chosen uh, red writings only spe uh, no, 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 especially it's for not Jesus. About the color. It's, it's not about the color. Uh -huh. Your whole entire point so far to life has been. I don't want any other words other than Jesus's words, no right. one else's. However, you started off by quoting John the Baptist, yeah. not so, Jesus, to yeah. make your point. So if, if, if something that John is preaching, which is part of the revelation given to him, that is fine. I'll take that as well. I'm talking wait, about John wait, the Baptist, wait, wait, not wait, the John the gospel writer. 
uh, again, how are you judging this? Do you, do you see what life is talking about? You, you, you are, you are arbitrarily picking and choosing what you want to work with while telling life he can only work with these certain parameters. Right, right. But using the same book that you're coming out of to show you how you're reading stuff out of context and showing you how you're contradicting the actual. I haven't author contradicted of the book. anything yet. You have. I because Every, everything everything he, he he the moment he quotes something out of the book that you're reading you immediately disagree with it because it goes against your agenda no, you're no, no, being no, so dishonest yeah. and no 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 there's crazy. no dishonesty here remember we can uh, uh, we are we are we are going to we are engaging we're going to engage in a meaningful way because he said this isn't the Quran is contradicting saying uh, uh, it's not believing in uh, jesus coming uh, god coming uh, as flesh you see and he's saying god Quran denies the divine sonship of the, of, of jesus and 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 yeah, he, so he's he gave, coming he out of the reference. gospel that you're relying on he, he's coming out of the gospel that you're right. relying on to try to prove Muhammad. yeah but but it, in 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 the the biography written by john in that i'm interested in the message that jesus pre preached not the entire gospel from who? Where, uh, wait, uh, wait, historical account wait, 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 wait a second where are you yeah. getting this from this gospel that Jesus preached. Who's telling you what Jesus is preaching? Right. So this gospel writer John, who's supposed, ah. to, be, supposed to be a disciple of Jesus, he's writing oh. a historical account of the life of Jesus, right from oh. his birth till his death. Right. So, so is, he, is he is he right in what he records about Jesus? Yeah. So yes, yes. Good. So okay. he also records that Jesus is the Word of God who was with God. Yeah, but that's his opinion. Who himself is God. In the beginning, but, he records no, no, that on. about Jesus. Yeah, you see that, but Jesus is not the speaker. He's not referencing Jesus. But, that wait, Jesus wait, said who, who says who says that who, who tells you when Jesus is speaking in this book? The the the, the, the right writing is good. So you're relying on the author to tell you accurately what Jesus preached, and then you reject the author when he starts starts to expand on Jesus. How right. can you reject the author but then accept him? Okay, so let me ask you, what message did Jesus preach? No, no, how can you was, accept was the author and then reject him at the same time? No, I, want you to, uh, I want you to keep an open mind. Was he preaching the entire no, no, gospel of John? I, I, I would John? love for you to keep an open mind. No, how my, can you reject the I'm author in one scriptures. sense? Excuse me. How can you reject John in one sense, but then accept him in another sense? Right, because John is not referencing God or Jesus. He's giving his own opinion. No, but, but hold, hold on a second. That he preached. What? Wait, 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 hold on a second. Didn't, didn't, according to John, doesn't he say that the Holy Spirit is going to bring to remembrance everything that Jesus taught them? Okay, that's fine. You, you quoted that. In that case, they, they must let Jesus speak. The gospel writers wait, wait. Must, must let Jesus speak. But wait, hold on, though. Does, 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 so you are the one who quoted this. Yeah. You quoted the passage where Jesus says, that he has much to say to them, but mm -hmm. he can't say it now. But when the Holy Spirit comes, he will teach them all these things, right? Right. So according to John, Jesus said that he has things that he can't teach them yet, but the Holy Spirit will come and teach them these things. Right. So whatever John is teaching about Jesus comes from the Holy Spirit. Okay, no, but this is a different Holy Spirit. I'm saying his Holy Spirit is uh, being personified as a prophet because this gospel writer john uh first john chapter 4 verse 1 he says you know test the, the spirits whether they are from from god or not for for uh, many false prophets have gone out into the world so he I, I, I like that you did that I like, and, that I like that you did that I, now, many, hold on spirit uh -huh. and prophet he's using interchangeably the same guy yeah. uh, gospel writer john okay yeah. so he say and and also he says, test the spirit if they are from God or not. How, yeah, what is spirit, the test? Right? The spirit, the right? Test? The test is any, any spirit or prophet that testifies that Jesus Christ is the Christ is a spirit of God. So Prophet mm. Muhammad testifies that Jesus Christ is the Christ. No, he doesn't. He rejects that Jesus is the Christ. Just by saying it by name doesn't mean anything. He rejects that he is the Christ and rejects his mission. Yes, Matter of fact. Let's see. How about look? Hold on. You just quoted First John chapter four. Let's stay in First John chapter four and let's watch you again reject the rest of the passages. 
No, Mike, it, that, you, I'm Mike, just yes, quoting are you what, is, yeah. what, what is germane yeah, can you, can you, to what... Can you pull up First John chapter 4 for me real quick in your Bible? Yeah, yeah but, but the point I'm here making, the point that I'm making, the, uh, the reason why I touched upon First uh, uh, John chapter 4 verse 1 is, I'm showing that the word, he's using the word spirit and prophet interchangeably. No, it's not. It's not anything. He, he, where, where even he, the spirit of truth. All right, so let me let me read real quick. So uh, 1 John chapter 4, verses 1. Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. But this, you know, the spirit of God, every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God and every spirit that does not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard was coming and is now already in the world. Okay. Now read, read verse six. Okay, we're we we getting away are from of, One second, one second. We are of God. He who knows God hears us. He who is not of God does not hear us by this we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error now pause here so according to john what he just read in your same chapter verse six he says whoever listens to us we know that they have the spirit of truth and not the spirit of error correct naked truth okay life do me a favor Read verse 9. Verse 9. In this, the love of God was manifested towards us, that God has sent his, whole, his only begotten Son into the world that we might live through him. Mm. So the Messiah, according to this passage, the who you're supposed to be listening to, or else you who have the spirit of error and the Antichrist, they say the Messiah is the Son of God. Does Muhammad confirm that the Messiah is the Son of God? Okay, so what does Son of God mean in the Answer Hebrew the language? Answer the question. No, 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 hold on, because you're conflating terms here. Because that term, Son of God, has been used extensively in the entire Bible. You For instance, it's all begotten. those who are led by the Spirit of God are the Son of, God. Son of God. In that sense, in that sense, Jesus is he the Son of God. He just said the begotten Son of God. Right, right. begotten. David, David is called uh, the begotten Son of God, the firstborn. So that is well, not to be taken prophecy. literally. That's actually no, prophecy but brother, you, Jesus, got so you got it. But got that's it. fine. Does Muhammad confirm that the Messiah is the begotten Son of Allah? Uh, now, th there's a different language here. Right, there's Arabic and there's uh, it's Hebrew. a yes or a no. No, 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 you're, because you're conflating. I want you to uh, listen. Is Jesus and, the begotten and, Son of God? Yes or no? The the expression Son of God does not exist in the. Is Hebrew. Jesus the begotten Son of God? In yes or no? In the metaphorical sense, not in the literal sense. No, no, naked truth. The problem is, is this, man. We're we're a, we're asking you a simple question. It's a simple yes or no. Did Muhammad ever teach that Jesus? was the begotten son of God, period. Right. It doesn't, no. it doesn't, it doesn't matter what you think yeah. about, meta, it doesn't matter what you say about metaphorical, it doesn't It doesn't matter. Does he, is there any statement like that at all in your Quran? Was the revelation given to Muhammad that states that, yes or no? No, hold on, because you're conflating two no, different no, languages. No. I want you to, I'm, I'm going to clarify. We got to have, we got to have an honest conversation. You know, I'm going to give you, I'm going to, I'm, before I'm going you, to before you, you, wait, 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 before you expound on that, <clears throat> you're going to have to be honest first, because we know the answer is no. So we need you to say no, and then you can say whatever you want to say about metaphorically or literal, whatever. Yeah. Does Muhammad, did Muhammad ever receive No, the, the, the emphatic answer is no. Now right. let me clarify. No. Let me clarify. Well, let me justify my position. I am saying God has sons by the tons in the Bible. Adam is called the son of God. David is called the son of, uh, son of God. Ephraim is called the son of God. Jacob is called the son of God. All, uh, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. All those who are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. In that sense, Jesus is also the Son of God. 
if you say the uncreated God, eternal God, begotten uh, a son, that, that would be illogical, a logical impossibility and blasphemous. So that cannot be because the idea is to explain scripture with the scripture. So I, I can, you know, to support my position, I gave you example of five, six people who have been called the, the sons of God. Okay, so, that, so, that, Allah, so Allah has sons by the tongues? Yeah. You said, yeah? In the Hebrew, I'm saying in the he does no, 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 no. Allah has sons by the tons. God has no son in the Arabic language that right. that is considered as shirk. As oh, something that okay, is... so then it's not the same God, it's a false God, and Muhammad is an anti No, 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 yeah, you see, you're, 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 you're escaping from the discussion. That's an exit we're, we're you're taking. From the discussion. Discussion. We're under right? the discussion. We're under discussion. Let me justify the according, prophecies. According to, according to 1 John chapter 4. The ones who have the spirit of the Antichrist and the spirit of error are the ones who reject the Messiah as the son of God who he sent into the world to save us. You said Allah does not have sons at all. That will be blasphemous. That is shirk. Therefore, okay. Muhammad, the message that he came with is a message of the Antichrist. He is not uh, a prophet of God and Islam is false. According okay. to no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. You're, you're jumping the gun. I'm Look, jumping the gun. The, the Antichrist was already there, even 600 years before, according to this, what the passage that you yeah, quoted. According to First John no, chapter on. four, it told us the, what the, the spirit the of Antichrist, the Antichrist is, Look, and the, the spirit of error. Yeah, that was already there, the Antichrist. But so if here, you reject that the Messiah is the Son of God, naked truth, you are of the Antichrist. No, 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 no. He says the spirit or the <laughs> the spirit or the prophet that testifies. That Christ, Jesus Christ is the Messiah. That spirit is from God. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said what? Jesus Christ, son of Mary, is the messenger of Allah, the Messiah. So therefore, that the 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 statement made by the Quran is a true statement. Now going back life, to the prophecy. Go ahead and read verse 10 for me too. Go ahead and read verse so, 10. So let me just uh, continue with the prophecy. It will... It, oh, no, it will, it will it was, on, it, it was shut out. Hold it was on, shut on, out. One second. One second. Naked truth. Hold on one second. Verse 10 says, In this love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be a propitiation. Propitiation. That simply means a blessing. Pro no, propitiation. No, propitiation is not a blessing. Oh, okay. Propitiation for our sins. Okay. That's no problem. So, so do you prophet, believe, so do you believe do you, do, did Muhammad teach that Jesus was the atonement for our sins? The, his message was the message of repentance. Answer the question. Yeah, yeah I'm answering. So he, it was no human sacrifice here. Or sacrifice but, but, wait, to wait, according, according to 1 John why, why chapter 4, over, I think you're, 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 you're according to 1 John into, chapter 4, no, Jesus was a sacrifice for our believe, sins, right? See, make it true. Naked truth. Hold on one second, man. Let me let me try to explain what's happening here. Remember, legs, like. <laughs> remember, yeah, yeah. So I'm saying, like, remember, remember. Oh, you see my legs? Yeah. <laughs> leg, leg, leg day, leg day. Leg day. Uh, look, remember, remember what I said, uh, naked truth. Okay. We told you that the only way that you can have a conversation about the about the gospel right is if you ignore or distort or claim some form of corruption or disbelieve in part of the scriptures basically taking the scripture in part this is basically what i was alluding to right and this is exactly what you're doing you're doing no, exactly no, what yeah, no yes it is because listen if you take the scriptures for what they are for what it says then we know for a fact that it cannot be Muhammad. Okay. There's no way. Hold on, hold on. There's no way that you can. There's no way that you can distort what we just read. There's no metaphorical or literal way out of this. He just read you verse ten, which destroys you, because it says, "In this is love, not that we loved God, but that He loved us and sent His Son to be propit whatever." Propitiation, whatever. It's a, it's an that's a tongue sacrifice. twister for me, man. Propitiation. Yeah. <laughs> that's probably ain't even. I probably ain't even say it right there. Propitiation. 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 Yeah. Propitiation for our sins. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. so, okay. what, so, so what we're asking you is, did Muhammad teach that Jesus, uh, uh, Jesus, right, unalived for our sins? Yes or no? No. Now, let me okay. clarify. Okay. Because, yeah. so, okay. See, so what, so what there's no way. Is, Wait, 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 wait. No, you got to let us conclude because then then if you you can explain your way, you can try to explain your way out of it after. But we have to conclude on the point that we know that there's no way that John could 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 John could be writing that Jesus made any types of statements about Muhammad because the prior statements to this in this in these books are showing that he doesn't match. So either you take the, the, the book of John as a whole, or you don't take the book of John at all. You see what I'm saying? Uh, no, but he, here's the caveat. Uh, the, uh, here's what I'm saying. Look, I'm reference, referencing Jesus. Now you took me to, to, uh, to one of the letters of John, and you're, you're reading from there. I just made an allusion just to show that he's the word of spirit and, and prophet you simultaneously, uh, uh, interchangeably. And uh, uh, my don't contention is, my contention do is, him. do not blame him. You went here. None of us went here. You went here to try to prove your point. Don't try to say we took you to one of the letters of, of John. You took us to the letter of John. Yeah, but that was four, to you did highlight this. one word. One word. You see what, what I'm one saying? One word. What do you mean one word? He's using that same word, the spirit. Uh, in in his in his god in the, uh, uh, in his gospel i uh, was just clarifying that point so going back he's to telling what, you how to tell which spirit is from god and, I, I and which spirit that. is of the antichrist he just Anti told you christ that you, that you that's the jews who rejected him that's among them not with the, with the muslims they are exactly yeah you reject him christ. it is among you you reject no no no, no, no. hold on okay let, let me continue with the prophecy so you it, it's going to expand and clarify much of the, the question that you're raising you're stuck because you're not used to this this kind of uh exegesis of, uh, of your script <laughs> it's hey, becoming hey, like, like a, a, a headache for you so uh, let me just continue and 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 then yeah, you can hold just on, hold on, make it true life you ready for another favor yeah. Watch how this buries him. Read verse 14 and 15. Oh, okay. It's no problem. I was, I was reading oh, okay. that. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. See, no, it's no problem. You, okay. okay. You quoted this, so I'm going to show you how it buries you. This no, was your hold burial. On. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to read it. It's no problem. No, the the, the heading of this chapter is, called, is Jesus promises the Holy Spirit. Can you please be quiet? Yeah. While we're about to if you verse, love me, to and, we have, and, and we have seen and testified that the Father has sent the Son the way the who the father has mm. sent the son mm. as the savior of the world whoever confesses Wait, okay. mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. yeah whoever confesses that jesus is the son of god god abides in him and he in god okay make it true did muhammad teach that jesus was the son of god and the savior of the world Okay, so son of God, I told you, like in the metaphorical sense, it's not a. Did problem. he teach as a that savior Jesus of the is world, the Son of God okay, as a savior, and the Savior of the world? Okay, regarding the Savior of the world, we say that in his second coming, he can play, he's going to play that role. Oh my gosh! The first in, in his first hey, coming, hey, read, read, read it one more time. Brother, read it one more time. Read it one more time. His first coming, he did Hold on, naked. Hold on, naked. Hey, life. Read it one more time, bro. As we have, and, and we have seen and testified that the Father has sent the Son pause. as a Savior to the world. Pause, pause, pause. Did he say will send the Son or has sent? So uh, how did he save the world in his... Uh, excuse me, excuse me. He just told you it's... he. he he was the propitiation for the sins of mankind. Like the sins are still he was the us. atonement. The sins he are still saved here. us from our sins. The That's sin. the, he, he just told you this. I, I, do, do, you, do you believe that those who rejected him... No, 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 it's not about me. Sinful, it's about what, what they Muhammad were sinning, believed. What they were it's not about what, it's, it's about what Muhammad what, believed. What are you talking Did about? Muhammad teach that Jesus saved the world from, his, from our sins and that he's the son of God? Did Muhammad teach that? Or did he teach against that? That, that, that role for uh, speaking of, of the globe, that, 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 that role, role will be played in his second coming. In the first coming, he did not do that. He preached his own, rejected him. Okay? So that, that was not done by him. 
Okay? How long do so you, you, you want to? How long you want to talk to him? Because he's not dealing. He's not engaging. He's not dealing with any of the answer. You know, he's not engaging at all. I mean, to be honest, yeah. I mean, this was literally just to prove, like, what this is literally just to prove exactly what he was, what he said he wasn't going to do. You're, you're, you're ignoring the rest of the passage, man. It's just as simple as that. Naked truth. To be honest, look. If you don't ignore the, if you don't ignore the passage, the conversation is pretty much well, over. I, I, I didn't even. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Be, but be honest, naked truth. If you don't ignore the other passages that you're reading in John, that we're reading in John, the conversation would have been over, right? No, no. Hold on. I, I have, my focus is my, yes, the prophecies. No, no, right, no. right now, my focus okay. is the prophecies. True. Because it's, it's, really, a yes really, no, it's a, it's a yes or no question. It's a yes or no question because it's very simple. If you don't ignore the other passages that we read, this conversation would have been over, right? Because we showed you that Muhammad is not in line with the teachings of Jesus according to the passage that you read, right? No. You have to be on. No, listen, truth. Na the naked truth. Your name is the naked truth, but you're not being truthful, bro. Right, because you're not being cons consistent in your your A complete, a complete you. dishonest liar. Yeah, yeah. Uh, dude. No, 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 no. All right. So you know what? You know what? You know what, Avery? Remember what we got to do, bro. We got to just show them from their own scripture. We got to show up from their own scripture. Hey. <laughs> Show me, show me, show me where, show me in your scripture where uh, Muhammad was given revelation. Okay, we will come to that. Right now, the topic is... No, show me, show me, no, show me in the Quran, show me in the Quran where Muhammad was given revelation. Now, I, I'm showing you straight from your source, which you, uh, which is credible to you. Yeah, I know. A complete, dishonest liar. The conversation is, the, the conversation is going to move forward. For you. No, the conversation is going to be moved forward because I'm not. I now have to show you how inconsistent you are. I'm, right, I'm, 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 I'm going to show you now. Show me, show me in your Quran where Muhammad was given scripture, was given revelation. Show me. What is the Quran? Show, no, show Nothing. me a verse. Show me a verse where Muhammad is given revelation. Go. The entire Quran is. Show me a verse. Okay. Alhamdulillah, <laughs> Rabbil where is, it Muhammad? Where, where is that Muhammad? God is revealing his word to the prophet and the prophet is Where does it say that? He where does is it say that? It. That's the where first chapter say of the Quran. That? First chapter, first verse. Where? First where chapter of the say Quran that? doesn't say anything about Muhammad. He is the recipient of the message. You see now what where, you're doing where, is where, where does you're the Quran say away from the actual discussion and you're sidetracking. As I, the case, as I was making the case, Muhammad, Muhammad in the Bible, in the Injil, you moved away from that. I was focusing on that. This can be a different debate, a different argument. It's no problem. I but really don't understand why you keep ending up on these stages. I really don't. <laughs> what are you so doing, so for? If, if, if you love me, keep my commandments and ask what, the what, Father. What, what, do you, what do you do this for? You like you literally have to okay. reject Let, and okay. lie so, about your okay. own Let, let's open the discussion to try to make a point. Okay, you can God die? Uh, you, 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 now, you, and now, you, and now you're trying to, and now no, you're trying no, to, now you're trying to play games. You don't, don't want now you're trying to play games. So you didn't want to, okay, you, didn't, you didn't want to show, you didn't want to, you didn't want to see. No, how I was showing, but you're not engaging. No, no, listen, listen, man. You We're not engaging. See, what you didn't want to see how you didn't want to see how inconsistent your position is according to or, or according to uh, our book. So now we're going to go into your book and I'm going to show you how. Well, okay, let me, I, I think I was very. I'm going to show you how inconsistent you, you didn't are. Want to engage. No, no, watch this. I'm going to show you how inconsistent you are. Okay. okay? I'm going to show you how inconsistent you are. All right. So the Quran only talks about Muhammad's wives. That's so it. What does that got to do with the, the Quran? The Quran only. No, 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 no. The Quran only speaks about Muhammad's wives. <laughs> Prove me wrong. What, uh, what is the passage? What is the context? Prove me wrong, but the, prove me wrong. The Quran only speaks about Muhammad's wives. In terms of what? 
No, I'm just no. I'm telling you what the Quran only speaks about. The Quran only talks you know, about Muhammad to, and his wife. You're not giving me the context. You're quoting that is, the there is no there is no context. It's okay, just so that's literally can, that's that, that what the Quran is. The Quran only speaks about Muhammad and his wives. That's it. Prove me wrong, what? bro. Prove me wrong. Does the Quran only speak about Muhammad and his wife? I know, yes but no? you're not making a point in terms of what. That is my point. That's my point. My point is the Quran only speaks about Muhammad and his wives. That's it. That's it. About? It doesn't talk read, about read, anything. Read Surah An Nisa, the chapter. What, called, what, 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 what is that chapter about? It, it, with the rights of the of the woman, their their issues. Read it. I'm only I'm only, I'm only, I'm only focused I, on the I, chapter. I'm only focused on the chapter where it talks about his wives, because that's all the Quran talks yeah, about. Yeah, but you're you're not saying much about that. You're just making that uh, statement, but you're not saying anything about that. Yeah, no, it doesn't matter. That's all the Quran talks about. So no, is, no, are, I mean, so prove me wrong. The the information Hello. is throughout the Quran. One second, bro. Yeah. Prove, prove me wrong, but, make it true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have we have we have other guests, man. Yeah, we, give me we thirty don't, seconds. Don't have... Yeah, just give me thirty seconds, bro. Because I know okay. he's not going to get it. Because I did this last time, and he's he he, he sat there with his mind blown because he just doesn't understand how when when stuff gets fl gets flipped on him, which is this is insane. Okay, What's you said about the, the Quran only make it true. Answer directly because you're about to get dropped, bro. Bro, can I answer? So, no, not yet. So listen, make it true. Your Quran only talks about Muhammad's wives. And? Okay? That's it. That's all it talks about. Do you agree? No, that's not true. I'm not talking to you, bro. Shut up. Who are you? Okay. W what is your point? Make a point, man. You're not making it. It's I, just that, like... I, I'm, I'm trying to make the point, but you're so no. slow that you don't even know how to no, engage what, in a conversation. What, what about the wives? What, does what your you Quran, does your Quran, still here? does your Quran speak about this? Is the only thing your Quran talks no. about is Muhammad's wives? No. I mean, there are more than six Absolutely verses. Not. Huh? And I don't know what, uh, what what's your point is. I mean, you, you should speak with all reference. Right. Go, ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Drop him. Go ahead. Drop him. Yeah, you're being silly. That's all. Well, you're yeah, not, you're not moderators, whatever, do what you got to do. Guys, can I be real about something? Get him out of here. You should have been out of here a long time ago. You were yeah. a, blib a blibbering moron, man. Are you, guys trying to, are, you, are you guys trying to legit find out if Prophet Muhammad was prophesized in the in the Bible or the Torah? Yeah, yeah. Specifically, specifically okay. in the engineer. Where did, where have you guys you, ever listened to Dr. Dr. Zakir Nayak? Can you hear me, John Are you able to hear us? Yeah, is, is, my mic, is my mic low or something? No, not at all. This dude is just keeps so just guys, rambling. So you just talking over me? Yes, absolutely. <sighs> Jamal, can you hear me? I can hear you, bro. Okay. Yes, specifically, Jesus says in the in the Quran, the Quran puts words in Jesus' mouth saying uh, that a person named Ahmed will come after him. Where does Jesus say this? I can actually play. It. This is doctors. Okay, there. Ahmed for one, prior, was translated to the prior to the Injil and the Torah. I don't know if you guys know this. It's very interesting. It, when you guys have time, please check this out. Just go to Google or YouTube and and look at Hinduism and Prophet Muhammad in in the in, in the Hindu scripture. Now, doctors. Wait, 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 wait. One second. One, one second. You said that Muhammad is mentioned in the Hindu scriptures. Would you like me to play it for you right now? It's, you, it's, you, you know, you don't have to play it. I'm just asking for you to affirm it. Yes, in the Hindu scriptures and right now, I'm actually I'm looking at Prophet Muhammad prophesied in the Bible and he'll actually give you each. I got you. I got I got you. So so do you believe that Allah revealed the Hindu scriptures? Uh, do I believe that Allah believe? Uh, that's a good question, man. Be, uh, I don't believe that believe. the Hindu scripture in the Quran. I don't believe, was, I don't believe that's a you, I, I know where you're going with that and that's a good point mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i know where you're going with that yeah so but you see you see how it's a scripture. it's a bad it's a very bad thing to try it, to put muhammad into pagan scriptures but can you know, i ask you something not, that, could, that could have been taken from another book could have been Hindu. taken from another book but how no. he's also talked about in the bible and well, that, that's fine. Hold on. I just want to. I just want to cement this point. Let's. We let, don't let's know if he was far. mentioned in the hand. Do you see? Do you person. see the trouble you can no, run I into? I know for a fact. I'll look it do up, you, man. It's, you it's see fact, the trouble you can run into by saying that Muhammad is found in pagan polytheistic scripture. We you don't have what, any evidence. Problem that. with that? Shake logic. We don't have any evidence that he's mentioned. What, what do you mean? Jam Jamal said that. I can play it for, again, you guys. Yeah, he's right getting, now, he's getting it. We don't have any evidence video. of that. I saw the video. Zachary Nike says that. So is Zachary Nike wrong? No, he, he I mentioned think what, but 
Like, I think what he's trying to say is that um, that dude oh, that, the Hindus, that the Hindus follow, he possibly could have been a messenger from God. But then they <laughs> changed the, what he said and added to it. Just like, Wait, what do you mean? Now, so now he no. in the Hindu scriptures. Now huh? he, with, with, yeah. with, no. three, with 330 million gods, huh? No. Yeah. No, we don't know that. All, we just know that he's in the NGO. I just found out. I just need, I need to know. I need y'all to know pick and pull a lot the Hindu scriptures too. Yeah, I, I, just, I need to know because Jamal, I seen the video you're talking about and I was you dying know. laughing when I saw it. Zakir Naik said, Zakir Naik no, said, No, this is not Dr. Zakir Naik. The, Dr. Yeah. Zakir Naik has nothing to do with the Hindu one. Dr. Zakir Naik yeah, is right here he talking it. about... He's the one who claimed it. Uh, here, he brought, he, he, he's Hindu the one who made that claim Muhammad popular. In the, in, in Hinduism. You're not I'll listening. You. Zakir Naik is the one who made it popular that okay, it's Muhammad is found eternity. in the it's, Hindu scriptures. So I never heard him say that. This if Muhammad is found is in the Hindu scriptures, can, listen, guys, Jamal, can you just, heard that. listen, listen Jamal, this for one second. Listen, Jamal, listen, Jamal. Mm-hmm. Jamal. Listen, hey, Jamal, Jamal, you did. Hey, Jamal, come on, man. You, you, you already know what happened last time you came up here running your mouth, man. You changed your position what? and you got mad. So just listen for a second, man. If you're saying that Muhammad is found in the Hindu scriptures, then you're saying that Allah revealed the Hindu scriptures. Do you no, believe I'm that? Not. I never said that. I just if told you, you that they could have took it from another book. God, guys, God knows. Yeah. For one, we believe. Oh, can I just book. hold on? Hold on. A hundred and twenty-four thousand prophets were before <laughs> Prophet Muhammad. That's what we believe. That's true. That's true. Uh, so, and you can't even. And you can't even. And you can't even, and you can't even name a hundred. You can't, they can't name 50. God didn't name them all. <laughs> all due respect, we don't even know how far back humanity dates. To Adam. I, I, well, home. we know that, and we don't know. All how right, so let's years, so let's get to it years, then. You said he's in the, you believe was, he's in the gym, saying. right? Where did Jesus mention the coming of Ahmed? Jesus himself. Where did he mention him? Ahmed was translated to the beloved one because oh, that's what Ahmed means. Prophet Muhammad. In Where the does Bible. Jesus mention this? Where does Jesus in the mention Bible this when Jesus says, "After I leave, the beloved one will come." The beloved one beloved was one. translated from Muhammad to the beloved one because that's what Muhammad means. Where does he say beloved one? There's I can find it. I, I don't know the exact verse. Uh, on yeah, top yeah, just of look. That. Yeah, take your time. Okay, one second. So while he looks for that. Jamal, do you uh, you believe that Jesus mentioned Muhammad? That Jesus himself mentioned him. Yeah, I don't believe. I don't. I don't. Not that I've found yet. No. Okay. Good. So that, that means it, he, I know that the Bible mentioned him when they talk about Muhammadin. They explain to you. It's right not, here, man. That's that's not that's not the Torah. I'm talking about the Bible. It's right here. Yeah, but we're we're asking about the Torah and the Injil. Okay, well, I'm going to look up Song the Torah. Song of Solomon is not yeah, the Torah. Yeah, the Angel, the Bible. The, the, the Angel is the New Testament. It's the gospel. I understand there's the New Testament and the Old Testament. I know that. Yeah, so we're asking where in the where in the Torah and where in the gospel, specifically. Okay, you listen to Ahmad the Song of Solomon. Just listen to this chapter right here. Jamal, Jamal, I just told you, Song of Solomon is not in the Torah. Listen to this, just one. Just I don't need to listen to it. I already refuted that. To me. I already refuted that. You're refuting. So are you just gonna you're just gonna play videos, or are you gonna engage, bro? No, I want, but I want your opinion on what he's saying about this. This is yeah, out okay. of the Bible. All right, stop playing the video. Here's my opinion: on what he's saying. Number one, the Quran never says oh. that Muhammad is found in the Song of Solomon. That's number one. Number two, the Song of Solomon is by that that chapter five is by a woman, his wife. The Song of Solomon is a letter between the husband, which is King Solomon, and his wife, his bride. And, and they're the writing bride, letters, which they're wife? writing letters to each other. They're writing letters to each other. Yeah, which wife? So chapter five, she's writing a letter to Ma, to to um to Solomon. That's number two. Number three. The word Mahmadim or Muhammadim is not the same word as Muhammad. Muhammad means the praised one. Mahmadim means desirable things. This time it's in the plural, so it's all desirable things. So those are two different words, two different meanings. It's not Muhammad. But the way he explains it, 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 it's not the way you explained it, man. I'm just saying. I know. Ahmadidat is wrong. He's lying and he's wrong. 
Bro, if you're going to ask for a refutation, then you got to know that our explanation is not going to be the same as his. That's 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 where the yeah, that's why we're having a debate, a dispute. I, that's, yeah. that's true. So so your Quran actually specifically says that Jesus mentioned Muhammad in chapter 61, verse six. It says Jesus said that a messenger named Ahmed will come after me. Where did Jesus ever say this? And you said the the Quran mentions this. I'd have to yeah. look it up, man. To be yeah, honest, right. the Quran me memorized. I'll be honest. No I'd worries. Have... If you want, if you want to take a minute, you can pull up pull up on the internet. So you're Chapter saying that the Quran 60, says, verse six. Yeah, you're saying look, the 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 Quran says that that Jesus mentions Muhammad. Yeah. In the Quran. Yeah, the Quran says that. Okay, I'd have to yeah, I'd have to do some research and look it up. And this is this is I don't know, man. I know I know it's translated, but okay. But what are you trying to say though? That I'm tr trying to say that it's false because we have the words of Jesus and He never said that. Okay. Can I ask you something about the Bible though? And I will look that up though because I'm curious. Where in the entire Bible does Jesus say, worship me? I am God. I am God. <laughs> How did I know you was going to say that, man? Because he does say, he's always referring to my father. Wow. Got, a, got a Jesus is God his way out of it, man. Wow. He's always, and why would Jesus need to be baptized? Why would God need to be baptized? I'm getting good at this. <laughs> yeah, man, you're becoming a prophet. Hey, Jamal, let me ask you, let me ask you a counter question. Where in the you guys entire even Quran? Answer those two. Those are two big. Why would God well, need I, to be I, 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 have a, I have a big one too. I have a big one too. Where in the entire Quran does Jesus ever say, "I was born of a virgin"? Where in the entire Quran does Jesus say? Okay, again, which which your the questions you're asking me, I've never, never heard from nobody else. So I'd have uh -huh. to look up which again. I'd have to look up what you're referring to, but it doesn't exist. More importantly, I, I asked you, why would God need to be baptized or why would I, wait, I wait, to, but that's not fair. I never heard anybody ask me, where did Jesus say I am God? Worship me in the yeah, entire Bible. That's not fair. You can't ask me that, Jamal. I'm saying, but in the entire Bible, he doesn't say <laughs> worship. He's always talking about my father. I mean, well, you can't ask that because I've never heard that the, question before. In the entire Quran, he never says he was born of a virgin. So he's he was he wasn't born of a virgin. God says that he was born of a virgin. Ah, and God says that he's God and that you should worship the Son. No, God doesn't say you should Wait, worship but the Son. Abraham yes, he does. Was sons of Not in the Quran. Of God. He sure does say. No, it. he doesn't. That was Abraham messing with his people. Like, no. Yeah. In Hebrews chapter one, God is speaking and says, "Of the Son, He yeah, says, yeah, yeah. Your throne, O God, is forever and ever." And then verse six in Hebrews, God says, "All the angels should worship the Son." No, wow, that's wow, not wow, correct. Wow, I've wow, never wow. heard that in Arabic. I know you never heard that. That's fine. This is the because Hebrew. that's oh, this that's Hebrews. Oh, yeah, okay. the book of that's Hebrews. not the Quran though. So what? I know it's not the Quran. We're talking okay. about the Bible. No, I was I, I was saying in the Quran because the Hebrew was changed by men, so was yeah, the but the Arabic was changed by men. In the no, the Quran. Arabic, no, the Arabic is memorized. Yeah. No, the Quran, well, yeah, the, the, Hebrew, Quran, Hebrew, the Quran the was changed. Memorized. The Hebrew was memorized. We don't believe that the Quran was ever changed. We don't believe prove that it. the Bible was ever changed. Prove it. Now what? Prove it was never changed. Well, we could prove that the Quran was never changed because <laughs> prove it. that's the original. Prove that's the that's not even me, the original Quran, the bro. If I read the whole, so Quran, can anybody give me where Jesus mentioned Muhammad, please? He doesn't. Uh, it's mentioned in the Injil. I'm actually watching the video not, right yeah, now, where? not the gospel. When Jesus speaks about Prophet Muhammad, so give me a minute and I'll get right that? back to you. You watch right, the video yeah, for sure, Jamal. Sure. What about you? Uh, how do I say your name, bro? I don't want to. Fadolo. Fadolo. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, uh, where does Jesus mention Muhammad? In the Injil. Yeah, where? Chapter we don't have so the in, we don't have the like the Injil. It wasn't preserved, so mm. Mm. yeah. So you got to believe it by faith. Oh, huh? Well, no, right. you told you he's in the New the Testament earlier, and I could play you several verses, and you wouldn't allow me to. And now well, you just asked him the same question. 
Hold on. Well, for the only reason says why he's, we Fodolo believe says it. he's not in the New Testament, so you guys are disagreeing. I just with he's in the Angel, not the Gospel. Himself. Yeah. Yeah, oh. you just said the Angel doesn't exist. So you mean to tell me you believe that he's in the Angel by faith? I believe it, yeah, because God says in the Quran, and the reason why I believe the Quran is the word of God mm -hmm. is because, Here's a rabbi is because God says in the Quran that he created the universe and it's expanding. And so just they, because he said he created the universe? And it's expanding. <laughs> and they just <laughs> discovered that the universe is expanding. So, so, just, so, because he, so, so just because he said that, that means that, yeah, to that, me, that, that only Muhammad God was in the Angel? To me, only God could have known that the universe is still. What if I wanted to? What if I wanted to become a Muslim, right? And the only thing that was stopping me was 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 finding his Muhammad's prophecy, right? Of of, of him being prophesied in the Angel. What if I said, man, I want to become a Muslim, but I then really want to. Find, I, I would I would really like for him to. I really would I, like to see this prophecy. Then I would have to find the oldest, oldest, most authentic mm -hmm. gospel mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. earth mm -hmm. and find it in there. Genesis chapter You would have to find the oldest 15. gospel on earth and find him in there? Yeah, because the, the oldest would be the most authentic because the longer you go in time, the more it keeps getting changed. Oh, so you said, okay, so you're saying that I could find it then in the oldest gospel? Possibly. If it's, if it's true like the Injil was, then yeah, it would be in there. Oh, then why haven't nobody uh, found it? I don't know. Hey, can, can we, you, don't, can, we don't can, need that, like... To oh, you don't be do a need Muslim, it. we you do need don't it. need that to believe. You do need it. Need it. If your Quran is saying that uh, that, <laughs> that a verification Jesus was a messenger, is a prophet, I, yeah. is that Jesus prophesied about him? You can't. If you have no proof of that, then that means that the Quran okay, is wrong. Let me ask something. The Bible talks proof, about prophecy but, of a man. Then who are they speaking of? Then and then really, that, hold so on, that, really, yeah, because we're there's six. The there's six verses. It's right here. Can I just play? It's one minute long. No, not, just, yet, not yet, no. not yet, not yet, not yet. Don't, no. don't, oh, don't, don't play that. Don't, don't play that. Uh, I, I just wanted to say something to that guy. Yeah. Yo, you don't, you don't need to find the oldest manuscript. You just need to find a sixth century Bible. And this is a Jew, so this is not a Muslim or a Christian. It, it's one minute long. I'm curious to what you guys. J Jamal, think about Jamal, say. hold on, man. Let me talk to the other guy. Hey, yo, do, do, you heard what I said? You don't need to find a six inch. You don't need to find a, the earliest manuscript. You just need a sixth century Bible. What you know is what? that? I'm not sure what that is. A, 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 a sixth century Bible. A Bible yeah, that is, the yeah. is there time. one? Yeah, the there's one that there's, there's one that predates. There's one that pre, that predates the sixth century. Yeah, there's one that's okay. older than that. Is there any older verses in there where Jesus is saying that after oh. I leave, God will send? Um, not Someone. Muhammad. Yeah, it not said, Muhammad, though. It, it says that the it hills does, I'm, I can play it for it you said, right now and you won't allow me to. It's your ball, bro. <laughs> <laughs> just got to drop him. Just, he's not ready for Yeah, this. he got to go. But, he just but play Fondolo, videos. it says that Jesus will send the Holy Spirit. That's what it says. Yeah, but not, the Holy Spirit, not, not brother, the Holy Spirit was already there with Jesus, so it yeah, could with be Jesus, him. but he wasn't indwelling in the disciples. When Jesus sends him back, that's when he the Holy Spirit dwells in the disciples. Yeah, that see that that's where we def, uh, where we don't agree. Well, that's what no, that's what Jesus says. He says, "For He lives with you, but uh, and will be in you." So He's already there I with thought, you. I thought Jesus he said that He won't come till after Jesus leaves. That's yeah, correct. The Holy Spirit so was won't there. Come, when He comes, He will be in them this time. Yeah. Yeah, it's easier for me to believe that he was talking about Muhammad than right. about the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit was there already. It would have to but, be someone. But that if he's talking about the Holy after. Spirit, if he's talking about the Holy Spirit, then it makes sense that he was that the Holy Spirit was there already, right? Which Jesus says. He says, yeah. well, we, for we, the Comforter we, lives with you already. The Comforter. I think yeah, that's so what did, they translated so did, Muhammad to mean. So did comforter. Muhammad was Muhammad with the disciples already? No. Then that means it can't be about Muhammad, right? I'm not sure, but we know that the Holy Spirit is actually Angel sure. Gabriel. Dude, 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 dude. it's okay. simple. Who is Muhammad, the Holy Spirit? Muhammad was not there during the time of the disciples, right? No, he was not. Okay, so Jesus says that the Comforter was there during the time of the disciples. So it can't be about Muhammad, right? Well, uh, maybe the Angel in the original verse, what Jesus actually said was different, and maybe that was changed. <laughs> How would you prove that? I can't prove it. Then why would you, you that's say that's why it's faith? Because we can't prove everything. Everything will be proven on the day of judgment. It's not, it's not faith, it's skepticism. That's what you have. 
You don't have to. Not me. Trust me. I would rather not have to, like, you know, uh, refrain from drinking. And I would rather not have to refrain from, like, going out and partying. The rabbit trails aren't helping you, man. What? According to the according to the Angel, according to the gospel, Jesus says that the comforter is the Holy Spirit that is in the presence of the disciples already. It can't be about Muhammad. The comforter is one of uh, uh, Ahmad's names, one of the translations. No, it's not. No. Show me. That. Show me that. I know Arabic, and that sounds like it matches. Honestly, it, it, there's, there's nowhere where Muhammad's called the comforter, bro. Ahmed and Muhammad. Yeah, Ahmed. Uh, the meanings mean. are. Um, Ahmed means the praised one. Yeah, the praised one. Yeah, not, Muhammad not means. Yeah, the praised, praised one as well. Okay. Yeah, they well, they maybe they translated it wrong. Group. Maybe they maybe it got missed, lost in translation. It's not lost in translation. The word is Parakletos, which means comforter or advocate. So. Look at how he's, look at how, look at how, like, so earlier I told the naked truth. It's, it's crazy how Muslims have to do this. Like, you guys have to. In what? order to validate your religion, right, in order to validate your religious claims, mm -hmm. you have to invalidate the statements that are being made in the previous scriptures. We not, have to invalidate not, not by the, way of, the Bible. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah, because, because it's been because changed. Not, not, no, 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 no. Not by way of saying, well, I just don't believe in what I'm reading here. It's, well, if this isn't aligning with what the Quran says, then correct. it has to be changed. Correct. Look at what you're saying. You're saying it correct. has to be changed. No. Correct. The other option is your religion is just false. Correct. That can't be, the only option can't just be, oh, it has to we be changed. We believe that anything that contradicts the Quran is false. That's a belief. Let me ask you this. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a belief. I can't prove it. I can't if prove Islam is true. So that's sad, if, man. You're blind. You can't prove the Bible is true. I mean, the, the, what Fordolo. you believe is true either. Fordolo. Yeah. If we were to reverse it and say, whatever in the Quran doesn't agree with the Bible, then those parts of the Quran have been changed. Would, would that be a, a, a logical and fair position to hold? Not when the Quran is, is memorized by millions. Oh, well, yeah, not when the gospel was memorized by millions. And the, the gospel is not memorized. The Tanakh was memorized by millions. They used to recite it, but by the time they were 12, they memorized it. Okay, is there anyone? Hey, for, for Dolo, the can I, can I, can I say it. something to you right yes, quick? Yes, go ahead. By the, by the way, salam al to my uh, Christian brother. Salam al Hey, uh, for Dolo, you know there's probably about 20 to 25 million Jews in the world? Uh-huh. Okay. And... Uh, each one of us on the stage and in the audience, we have each met probably on numerous occasions, many, many Jews, right? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> there are supposedly hundreds of millions of Muslims who have memorized the Quran. Mm -hmm. And yet neither myself nor any of my Christian brothers and sisters, neither you or any Muslim you know has ever met any Muslim who has memorized the Quran. And I have. That, my brother, is a fact. If you no, met it's him, not. Bro, if I've you met him, like if you meet him, I'll be happy. I'll life. be happy to open up a, a YouTube channel. You can bring him on and we'll put him to the test. Okay. How does that sound? Okay. Please don't yeah, say that, but that would remember, take like there's hundreds of millions of little kids, one of my myself included, who memorized some Dr. Seuss books. And I'm pretty sure you don't believe Listen, Dr. Seuss is inspired by Allah. Right? I've heard people recite the entire Quran off okay. memory. I hear it every single year, once a year. Okay, right. In different masjids, different cities. Right. I've never heard a single... And the recitation of one who recited the whole Quran was different from another person who recited no, it. Because no, I've never heard it be different. Brother, you have never met anyone who's memorized the Quran. Yes, I have. Neither have I. Bro, have, I so swear, if you if you have if you have I, 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 I know I uh, have it. strike me dead right I'll now. I'll open up on. a challenge, okay? Yes, God I logic, have. my brother God logic, he has a big platform, man. Bring one of these the, guys the, on. And the let's Quran go. has scientific evidence that it's a miracle. Oh my gosh. All right, but that's it. That's all I wanted to say. I didn't want to take us off the, the uh <laughs> The conversation. No, the human you, you, you done already. Things yeah. that are in the Quran. <laughs> so, hey, 
You, you heard of the L scientific miracles, man. That holy Quran. Man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I guess he missed the memo from uh who is that uh <laughs> uh Ali uh Ali Dawa. Uh, Ali Dawa. Yeah, I guess you missed his email, man. He sent that out a couple of years ago. <laughs> what did he say? Um so the you, scientific you just, you don't miracles have been debunked. No, no, I haven't heard of one that's been debunked. He's he's a Muslim, and he says that Muslims need to stop saying that the Quran has scientific miracles. That argument has been debunked. He's a Muslim, by the way. A yeah. very large Muslim would have. We don't rely long. on the scientific miracles to believe because a lot of them weren't did. even proven till till just recently. Mm -hmm. So. so so I, I what I is a scientific the, I, miracle? I mean, isn't that an oxymoron? Something yes, that's scientific is contrary to something. <laughs> no, like for example, when God says the, well, the a miracle the fetus goes through and something womb. scientific are two different things. Well, what about that's what I'm saying? saying that's a miracle. That it's the, a scientific it's miracle. Okay, that's an oxymoron. Like fourteen hundred years what, ago, could what if any it talks about when human when the earth no. was created before the universe? Is that scientific? what that what was created before the universe the earth no no it doesn't say that yeah chapter 2 verse 29 it says we created everything on the earth then allah rose up toward the heaven and made it seven heavens yeah but before that god says that he turned to the heavens when it was nothing and then he uh, cleft it asunder that's, exploded that's, it a, into that's after that's after he says that he created the earth in two days <laughs> six six uh, yeah the two days is two periods of time i know where it's not no necessarily so, two 24 no, hours period. no no worries let's say two periods mm -hmm. it says this this is chapter 41 verse 9 uh that he created the earth in two days or two periods and then uh created that. the mountains and its sustenance in yeah. four days yeah right yeah or four periods yeah then he rose up towards the heaven when there was nothing when it was smoke. okay that's because the there's seven universes okay that's because the there's, seven universe. made, huh? there's seven universes. The Earth okay. is in the lowest universe. Well, the, Earth, the lowest the universe wasn't made yet. There's seven, though. I understand. None of them were made yet. That doesn't say that none of them were made. That just says yes. that he <laughs> started that he was creating the Earth, and then after that, he created more in space. More what? More no. things in the universe. No, the verse says, I'll, 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 I'll quote it again, for chapter 41, verse 9. It is he who created the earth in two days. Then, logic, logic. He created more earth, man. Come on. No. Then yeah, he got you. What you don't get, bro. Still wait, 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 more earth. Let me, let me quote the passages. So he'll, he'll get it. He created the earth in two days or two periods. Well, I'm he saying did. days because that's what the verse yeah. says, but I understand yeah. what you're saying, okay? Yeah, two time period. Okay, so two days. And then... He also created the mountains and placed mountains from above it mm -hmm. um, and created its sustenance in four days. So he completed the earth. The earth was created in two days and its sustenance in mountains, four days. All right? Yeah. So then it says, verse 10, then it says, then he rose up toward the heaven while it was still smoke. It was nothing it wasn't yeah, that yet. means that the stars, were, like the sun wasn't lit yet. No, there was no sun. There was no stars. There was nothing. It was nothing but smoke. There was yeah. nothing there. Yeah. And then, okay. and then, then he says turned the smoke into planets and stars and stuff like and that. Exactly. He turned the smoke into the seven heavens and the stars. And he, so Not it the says seven this. heavens, but That's yeah, what it the says. It literally heaven. says, look, it literally says, then, so then he rose up towards the heaven while it was still smoke and said to it and to the earth come willingly or unwillingly yeah but the heaven seven. doesn't mean seven the seven universes well let me show you this let me finish verse 12 it says then he can he finished the heaven and made it seven heavens Correct. And that adorned the lowest mm -hmm. and adorned the lowest with stars. Correct. So there were the, the, the seven heavens, all seven of them were created after the earth was already made. They weren't created after, they were just finalized after. They were created. It was nothing but smoke. What are you talking about? Yeah, that means the space was already there, but the planets and no stars space. hadn't formed yet. There was no space. 
Yeah, there was. Where, where did that's, he get that from? That's why, the, that's why he created the earth inside that space. What so the space? space was there was there. no space. Yeah, the space that's been expanding ever since the Big Bang. It li so it literally says, okay, where was the earth created first according to science or the universe? According, the way I know it is, is according to the Quran, the, uni, the, the, the Big Bang happened first, and then God created the earth, and then God finalized the heavens. Okay. So it doesn't. So according to this, according to your Quran, it says that there was no heaven before the earth. I just quoted you the verses. I would have to read the uh, the translation and then the interpretation. Okay. You, you, yeah, you should read the interpretation. Matter of fact, yeah. Yeah, Ibn Kathir literally says this. Ibn Kathir, one of mm -hmm. the biggest interpreters of the Quran, mm -hmm. biggest tafsirs, he says, and he affirms, he says, the earth was created before the heavens. He literally says it. Okay, but the knows, heavens could just mean like, like look, the ozone he layer. <laughs> he breaks it down like this. No, he breaks it down like this. He says, this is even how you're supposed to start building by, by building your house. You start with the foundation first, then you create the roof. So he's saying the earth was the foundation that was created first, then the roof, what's above the earth, which is the heavens, the roof. That's how Ibn Kathir breaks it down. Yeah. The earth was created before the heavens. Yeah, we don't have a problem with that. You if do, the earth was created scientific. and then the heavens were, uh, he finished creating the heavens no, after. not finished. Not finished. He created the heavens after he created the earth. They were not made. They didn't, he didn't start them yet. But before that verse, there's other verses that say that he cleft the universe asunder and he's expanding it. And then he created the earth in two days. And then he... The, which is a contradiction. Heaven. We don't see it that way, but I see what you're saying. <laughs> okay. I see where you're confused. I'm not confused. Your Quran is confused. I don't believe that. I know you don't, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't change the fact that your Quran contradicts itself. Like look, look, chapter uh, chapter seventy five verse thirty one, no seventy nine. Excuse me, chapter seventy nine, starting at twenty seven. It says that Allah created the heaven, and then He finished it. <laughs> he perfected it. That's what He says. Mm -hmm. He created the heaven, then perfected it. All right. Okay. Then made the stars, and then it says, verse thirty, and after that He spread out the earth. <laughs> You see how it contradicts itself? First, the Quran tells us that he finished the earth first, then the heavens. Here, it says that he created the heavens first, then created the earth. It's a contradiction. Well, well it, I, have, I would have to read the Arabic to know for sure, just to make sure that the word uh, sama and, uh, and jannat were not uh, mixed up. Because sure. there, there's two different things. There's there's Jannat, which is heavens, and then there's Sama, which is the sky. The sky so, or the heavens, they're also translated as the heavens. Yeah, well, the way we know it is there's seven universes, and, uh, and then there's an actual paradise that's as wide as the seven universes, which is outside of the universe. Yeah, this isn't talking universe. about Jannah, yeah. it's talking about the seven yeah. universes. Yeah, I'm gonna have to double check then on what you're telling me. See if I can get back to you tomorrow. I got to double check for myself too, not just okay. for you. You know what I mean? How long have you been a Muslim? I've been practicing since I was like 19. Mm. How old are you now? 40. 40. 21 years. I'm gonna try to get you out of this, man. You don't have to sit and try to defend this stuff. I'll, we'll get you out of there. Don't worry. I doubt that'll be possible, bro. And with God, anything is possible. That's what Jesus says. Yeah, yeah. I do pray to God, the real, yeah. actual God that is above his throne right now as we speak, right? Not yet. You, that? you don't pray to him yet. You don't pray to the true well, God I'm yet. I'm asking right now. I'm asking the true God that created me to guide me to the truth. Okay, yeah. I, I'll touch and believe. I'll touch and agree with you on that. Yeah. I pray also that the true God reveals himself to you and guides you to the truth and guides you out of Islam. That's well, my prayer. Well, I'm not going to say amen to that. I was going to say amen till, till that last thing you said. You got to say amen to that, man. Islam is full of falsehood, bro. 
No, I, I can't do that. I would never you do can. that. You I'll, can. I'll die and risk it and deal with it in the next life. You're not going to want to do that? I'm 100% positive that Islam is the truth because the first human, Adam, knew the truth. Right? Where do you get the story of Adam from? From all the revelations. From the, the Torah, from the Injil, and from the it's Quran. The, it's the Torah that gives you the story of Adam. Well, we have it in the Quran, too. You have what Muhammad told you about. Mm -hmm. But the so story of Adam is, originates Torah in the Torah. Is the Word of God. And you believe that the Bible is the Word of God, but you don't believe that the Quran is the Word of God. Because it contradicts the Word of God. But the Bible has way more contradictions. I know. The Quran contradicts the previous scriptures that oh, it I says. See what you mean. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. It contradicts the previous scriptures. Yeah. yeah, we see it the opposite way. Like the Quran confirms what was revealed before it and then clarifies what. Well, never, the Quran never says it's, it clarifies. The, well, the Quran says so it confirms, but it doesn't clarify. Clarification. The uh, Furqan is the word. That it, means for con, for, no, for con means criterion, not yeah. clarification. Yeah, the criterion to judge yeah. by, right? Yeah. The, the Quran also says that the Torah is a for con, the criterion. Yeah, it was, but the Quran no, also says that they It doesn't say it was, it says it is. Well, I, I, it says that it was, right? Or no, not in the past. The it, it currently, currently it's, a, it's a criterion. I don't know. Gotta have to double check. Yeah, that's chapter 21, verse 48. Chapter, in which book? <laughs> in the Quran. Oh, okay. What does that say? It says that we gave Moses and Aaron the criterion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And gave them a reminder. Yeah. Well. So mm -hmm. the Torah is called the the criterion and the reminder. I have, have chapter 5, verse 43. Chapter 5, verse 43 says about the Jews... Um, he's talking to Muhammad about the Jews, saying, why do they come to you for judgment when they already have the Torah in which my judgments are in? Even still, they turn away because they're hypocrites. So the Torah is supposed to be their judge, not Muhammad, not the Quran. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because Muhammad and the Quran didn't exist when those people existed. Yes, he did. He's literally dealing with them, man. He's talking to them. Mm, what do you mean? The Jews were there in Arabia in the uh -huh. 7th century, bro. Yeah, yeah Muhammad. they were. Yeah. Yeah, and so Muhammad is, is dealing with them. And what's he Some saying them to them? to engage with him. Okay. Come to him. Um, but, but then the Quran says, why do they come to you? Why are the Jews coming to you, Muhammad? when they have the Torah already. Yeah. So they don't need to come to Muhammad or the Quran. They already have the Torah. I think if you keep reading, it says why. Oh, yes, it, it, it does say why. It says that we revealed the Torah as a guidance and light for mankind. And it continues to say that we ordained in therein uh, life for a life, eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, so on and so forth. It quotes... It quotes my Bible in Exodus 21. It quotes what I have in my Bible. That's and because proceeds, God revealed your Bible and some of it is still the word of God. Or doesn't The Quran doesn't say some of it. The Quran says all of it is. No, the Quran says that God revealed the Bible to Jesus, the Injil to Jesus, the gospel to Jesus, and then God saved Jesus from the persecution. And then so that's where your Quran changed. That's yeah, where your that's Quran corrupts. That's where your Quran corrupted. The, the previous scriptures and why would the Quran and, corrupt and it when Paul it. well how about Paul he didn't corrupt it first no no oh Paul, Paul is more of a prophet than Muhammad ever will be oh wow that's crazy yeah. but let, let's think about it for a second Paul was not even a good person bro well Muhammad wasn't a good person how well M Muhammad committed adultery he, that was he committed adultery he slept with a little girl no, she she was past the age of puberty, and that was normal at the time. She kings was not in Europe. All kings, all leaders, all people. Did Is that. Muhammad the best example? Absolutely, that was the normal. All right, at the so time. so so telling me what other kings have done doesn't Listen, help you. 
Right now, when an 11-year-old or a 12-year-old reaches puberty, they start having sex and having kids. Is that good to do? Out, outside of wedlock. No, is, that's is not that, good. Is that good? Okay, so no, then that's bad. Be so Muhammad, they were married so because naturally, you're, you're, you're making the case good. worse. You're Brother, making the case worse. No, I'm not. My point is physically and naturally and biologically, they're ready when they reach puberty. That's all I'm saying. saying. Is that what you're telling me? A nine-year-old is ready just because she bleeds? Well, if she reached puberty, then biologically... And naturally, she's not ready. It shows that she's getting ready, that her body's growing. She's in the yeah. process of growth. Yeah, you could Even wait. Even Jesus called a 12-year-old a little girl. It depends. I mean, some 12-year-olds were very grown and mature back in no. the day. Wait, so you're, you're trying to tell me that a 12-year-old can be a woman? Yeah, if she reaches puberty. Yeah, why this not? Is, this, is, this is what your religion teaches you. <laughs> Biologically... When a girl is past the age of puberty, she can have kids, right? No, no worries. Uh, no, they said no. Her body's not. This is why even when these Islamic countries are marrying off these little girls and they've bled and their husbands sleep with them, a lot of them have a deal with internal bleeding because they weren't ready. Their bodies were not ready for the sexual experience. Yeah, I've still never heard of that. You know, when I was 11 and 12 growing up out here, uh, I had friends and we were, a lot of us were already having sex at that age, 12, 13. Were you guys having sex with 50 year olds? No, with uh, people I think that's a difference. Age. Yeah. Yeah I, 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 yeah, I think that there's a big difference between having, between 12 year olds sleeping with each other. Abu Bakr wanted to give his daughter to the prophet. 45 year old man. Yeah, well, Abu Bakr wanted to give his daughter to the prophet. No, he didn't. No one no, better to give your daughter no, to. No, he didn't. He he objected so very very subtly. He he objected. The mom hmm. mama said came and said, "I want your daughter. I want your daughter in marriage." Abu Bakr said, "But you but we're brothers," and then Muhammad re replied and said, "We're only brothers in the faith." Yeah, that means they're not blood brothers because you can't right, marry so, your so, blood. So Abu Bakr Abu Bakr objected. You can't marry your niece. That's what that means. Well, he, 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 do you see the objection? He was not for it, but he's the prophet. What can you say? But he can subtly try to be against it. Yeah. Someone said I'm showing my true colors. And what is my true colors? Don't well, worry about the comments. Just, just focus. Don't, don't, yeah. don't worry about the comments. Anyways. But but yeah, man. Do you, so here, here we don't deny that he married Aisha and that she was young, but that was good. the norm at the time. No, it wasn't that because was no, it wasn't the norm because Abu Bakr, Abu Bakr asked for Muhammad's daughter in marriage named Fatima, and do you know what Muhammad said? What did he say? He said, "No, she's too young." Yeah. Okay. It was normal at the time. Why didn't you say now? Go ahead. I I, I don't know. Oh. Okay, I hear. I hear she's maybe she was not. But I, I maybe she didn't that. reach age of puberty yet. I don't know. There, no, that age of puberty didn't matter. According to the Quran, you can sleep with a little girl before no. she hits puberty. No, no, there's Hi, nothing. Hi, Shane Logic. Like that. Yeah, that's sixty-five four. I just need what to correct you real quick, and then I'll drop. Go ahead. So back back in ancient Arabia, the child mortality rate was really high. Kids never made it to the age of ten. Very rarely. You know, because of medicine and things of that nature. So typically as a culture, as a people, they never started counting their children's age until after they were 10 years old, right? So a one-year-old is technically an 11-year-old, right? A two-year-old is technically a 12-year-old. That because is not true common. at all. It is true. Can provide a source? It is true. Yeah, okay. of course. Yeah, yeah. I need a you source. Guys, I need you a guys source. can look it up. And there's no, 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 it's not about looking. No, no, no. It's there's nowhere in the Quran. You say, when you say something like this, we, you got to bring the, the source. Quran, there's nowhere in the Quran that supports pedophilia. 60, 65, there's nowhere four. in the Quran that supports forced Do you speak marriages. Arabic? Do you speak no, Arabic? No, but that doesn't mean okay, that I so didn't break up 65, the Quran Okay, so 65.4 says, 65.4 says that they're divorcing girls who haven't even menstruated yet. That's what 65.4 says. 
chapter Clear, 65 clearly verse four. clearly you don't understand the text because i can i can i just recently did this yes, with sir, the torah. Just i opened up the torah the and it was made. about selling your daughters into slavery Wait, what, what does this have to do with 65 4. so when i opened it up and i asked my friend Sa the way Sajira, what does this no, have no, to no, do no, with no. 65 4. i'm using a personal example about the torah because i misunderstood I have to pause you. What does this have to do with 65-4? No, no, no. If you're going to mute me, I'm going to drop. I do because you're talking too much. So just drop then because you're not okay. ready for the conversation. Right. The right. verse you're talking not about provide any is evidence talking about court. divorce and how they have to wait three months, you know, to make sure they're not pregnant. Yeah, exactly. So that means that they slept with the little girls. That's so not what that means. That means if your wife is 40, uh, 30 years old and, and you divorce her. literally. Of you it literally says long. it literally it talks about three categories of women and just to let you know i can't hear you when you're off the app it talks about three categories it talks about the older women who are past the age of menstruation then it talks about the younger girls who have not reached menstruation yet lam yahedna they've never menstruated in the past then it talks about the pregnant women their waiting period is until they give birth Okay, give me one second. I'm going to read it. I'll be right back. Okay. And, you know, just for the people in the audience, man, if it wasn't for their sad devotion and dedication to that religion, their conscience would actually tell them that that's wrong. Absolutely. There's no way in the world these people would be defending pedophilia. Defend pedophilia. <laughs> the, people used to get married younger, fourteen hundred years ago. People didn't wait yeah, till they were eighteen. Yeah, young, years old. Younger people, younger people would marry other younger people. They wouldn't be getting married to, to. Uh, it wouldn't be a twelve-year-old with a fifty-year-old man. That wouldn't be happening. Matter of fact, this is this is why we came here. Paul taught the opposite. Paul said that if you want to marry a woman, she has to be past the flower of her youth and it must be so. Then you can marry, you do not sin. Yeah, Anything the flower of that, her youth is sin. what? She has to reach puberty, right? No, not just puberty, but she has to be grown, mature bodily, physically, mentally, okay. and emotionally. That's and all that can happen when a girl is 12. According to, the, according to Muhammad, you can get with a girl even before puberty at 65.4. No, no, I just read 65.4. You're Good. completely misinterpreting the verse. It does not say that. Okay, so what does it say then? Because I, the, I just the quoted. different categories of women that are being talked about is mm -hmm. if if you divorce a woman, regardless of her age, it doesn't mention age. It, there's yes, it does. Where it literally says those who are past the those who are past the age of menstruation, those who fear menstruation because of their older age. That's the first part. No, if they haven't menstruated, that means they're pregnant. That's what that's talking about. Yeah, but what category of women is it talking about, the first one? The, the old ones, right? The one, no, the ones that are divorced. That There's two categories. There's divorced oh and pregnant, and then there's divorced and not pregnant. No, there's three. What are you looking at? Read the verse again, bro. Come on. Like... Oh, why is it only Islam where you guys cannot comprehend your own text? Maybe you're just misinterpreting it, bro. Maybe, like maybe our I am. scholars interpret uh, it. Better let's go. Than yeah, let's you. go to the. Like, you're right. I agree. I agree. Let's go yeah. to the scholars. Ibn Kathir. Remember, I like Ibn Kathir. Mm -hmm. Ibn Kathir says that this is talking about the first category of women are the ones who are past the age of menstruation. And then he says, so their waiting period is three months. Not past the age of menstruation. That's what Ibn Kathir says. Past the... Um, age of menstruation. That's what Ibn Kathir literally says. Then he says, the same for the young who have not reached the years of menstruation. That's what Ibn Kathir says. So you have the older women that it mentions and the young girls that it mentions who have not even hit puberty yet. They're being divorced and they have a waiting period because their husbands slept with them. That's what Ibn Kathir says. 
Should we keep going? Jalalain, the two Jalals, these scholars, they say the same thing. The young girls who have not reached the age of menstruation because of their young age, that's Jalalain. Let's keep going. Al-Wahidi gives the background, the story. The men come to Muhammad and they ask him, Muhammad, what about the young girls that we have married who have not reached, who have not uh, menstruated yet? Then the verse was revealed. And for those who have not reached the years of menstruation because of their younger age, their ida is three months. I can, should I quote another scholar? I can keep going. Mm, I guess I'll have to do my research and come back to you. Yes, sir. And when you do your research and you find that Muhammad actually did teach this in the Quran, what would you say? Would you be like, yeah, this is evil. This can't be from God. Mm, no, no. If God says it, then mm -hmm. God knows best. God mm -hmm. knows better than us. See, this is my thing. God has I given you it. a conscience. I've never God heard it. Given... I've been a Muslim for 20 years. I'm, I've been in lectures and messages and everything. And I've never, I know. I've never seen what you're saying. Like I've I know because they won't show you this. The only thing no. that they'll tell you I is will that look there's one Quran, myself. never been changed. We believe in one God. We believe in all the prophets. Therefore, you should become a Muslim. They'll tell you that, but they won't tell you that when you actually get into the religion and what you study, you're joining a religion that teaches pediophilia. You're joining a religion that teaches adultery. You're joining mm. a religion that gives excuses to beat your wives. You're joining mm. a religion that gives you excuses to raid villages that just because they disbelieve. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. is what you joined and you don't know. No, the verse that says to uh, beat them, that's three. That's like disciplining your uh, uh, child. You hit them on the yeah, hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your wife is yeah. like your child that you need to discipline. Look at that. No, no. You, know, you want to know what Paul taught? Here, here's another thing. not Paul talk taught. to her. Paul the taught that step Paul taught that whoever mistreats them. their wife, Paul taught whoever mistreats their wife, God will not hear their prayers. And so did the Prophet Muhammad say the no, best he among didn't. you? He taught are, that you can beat them. No, he said the best among you are the best to your wives. So far, so far, we get that Paul is more qualified and more righteous than Muhammad so far. Is no he, isn't that incredible? No way. Paul was probably a drunk, bro, that had like a no, Muhammad demon was a drunk. to him. Muhammad was a drunk. Muhammad no, literally Muhammad thought he was never demon drunk. God, Guys, catch this. Everything he's saying against Paul, he's saying against Muhammad. You're demonizing Muhammad. No. Muhammad literally in the cave, came out the cave when he had that spiritual experience mm -hmm. and thought that he was demon possessed. Yeah, he thought he his was, wife, but he wasn't. Went to his wife, went to his wife Khadijah mm -hmm. saying, cover me, cover me. Yeah, he because thought. you can see him sweating. You yeah. can see him pulsing. You can see him fearful yeah. and him trying to cover and, and find yeah. refuge with his wife because yeah. he thought he was demon possessed because he was. He thought he was possessed, but he wasn't. Start, he whenever he gets, his, what he's when seen. he gets his revelations, you know what happens to him? He hears a ringing in his ear. Then he also starts foaming at the mouth. Then he passes out. That's what we see in Mark well, chapter four. Angel Gabriel that's what, that's what we see. Yeah, hey, but, that's not possessed that we, by a demon. Hey, that's possessed hey, by DL, an angel. Doesn't that resemble demon possession in Mark? No. <laughs> yes, it does. No. How would you know what an angel <laughs> possession looks like? <laughs> Hang on, y'all. I'm getting a revelation. <laughs> it's cool. God will judge between us. On the day How are you so quick with that, man? <laughs> hey, uh, <clears throat> God brother, will judge between us on the day of judgment. Brother Fadolo, uh, either sooner or later, you know, uh, Jesus, I'm talking about Jesus of Nazareth, the, the true historical Jesus, the one spoken of by the prophets. Yeah. <clears throat> the one we believe um, in, too. Mm -hmm. he, he's, a, he's a guy that you're going to have to deal with sooner or later. We want right? to. We want to okay, follow. So, so, but, but, but you don't. But we do. And, and what do. I, what I mean by that is that every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that he is Lord. No. For the glory of God the Father. No. And, and, and that's going to happen either sooner or later. And no. The sooner the better. No. Everyone should follow him when he comes. He will lead. We will be with him. The Muslims will be with Jesus.
What do you think we're going to be like, oh, no, like we have to follow Jesus. But Muslims are anti-Christ. They deny the fatherhood of God and the sonship of the No, we're not anti-Christ. The anti-Christ will come. The we believe he will come. Verses 22 and 23. We don't, we're not anti-Christ. We know that there's an anti-Christ figure. We believe in that. Sir, 29, Ayah 46. What does that say? It says that you believe that you're supposed to tell the al al, the al, -al Kitab, Jews and Christians, mm -hmm. that you believe in that which was revealed to you and that which was revealed to us. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So you should, you should know what was revealed to us. Yeah, we believe right. that we do know what was revealed to you. Okay, so if, if you know what was revealed to us, could you just quote us something that was revealed to us? Yeah, what was revealed to you was that there's one God and that there is a, a heaven and a hell and there is a day of judgment. And uh, Moses was a messenger and there was revelations before him. It, all this was revealed to you. Where? And what, what are the documents where we can uh, it's mine in out your that scriptures. information? A, a lot of it's in your scripture. I don't. I don't have a lot of the Bible memorized. I wouldn't know off the okay, top. Okay, so what I'm saying is that so is the uh, definition and uh, categorization of an of an antichrist. Antichrist would be if you are against Jesus and refuse to like follow him when he when he leaves. Um, okay, but that's but the definition of an antichrist is one who denies the Father and the Son. Yeah, in Islam, the Antichrist is, it means like not Christ, but like he'll pretend to be. Okay, but, but, but once again, that's not what the definition of an Antichrist is. Yeah, it's called the Dajjal. You're okay. right. It's not but, called, but an Antichrist has, to, it has to be defined, and it's defined as one who defines the fatherhood of God and the sonship of the Messiah. So the Jews then are Antichrist? Yes. Okay, but we're they not. don't deny they don't deny the fatherhood of God, but they deny the Son. We don't deny the fatherhood of God. We call him Allah, and we say that he's not a father. He's right. God so that, so he can't be. So he can't be father. No, we feel like that word was uh, translated to father. You know, God, Lord, Father, like in translation. He can't be a, 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 a biological begotten. So, so a Muslim, a Muslim can call God Father. Mm, as long as you mean it like God, not an actual biological father. Yeah. No more questions, Your Honor. Uh, we have more in common than than we than differences. Basically, other than the pedophile stuff you guys are bringing up, the only real difference is. You believe Jesus is God and the Son of God, and we believe he's the messenger. But that's what you're supposed to believe. We believe that you're supposed to believe that he was an actual messenger. No, no, no. The, your, your scripture, Surah 29, Ayah 46, you're supposed to believe in that which was revealed to us. Yeah, it was revealed yeah, to us that, that, was. that the Messiah yeah, is the eternal believe. Son of God. No, we're Proverbs supposed to chap Proverbs chapter 30, verse 4. We're supposed to believe in what was revealed to you that God says he revealed it. Yeah. We're not supposed to deny and say like, oh, God never revealed anything to Jesus. Oh, okay. But what you're doing is you're, you're trying to separate our proclamations, our claims that Jesus is the son of God from what was revealed to us by God. Yeah. We believe that God didn't reveal that, that that was added oh. by like people like Paul and stuff. Okay, so now you have to provide evidence that Paul provided that. Okay, all right. I'd have to look look that up and come back, you know, a different day. Okay, all right. I get on here like once a day, you know, so I'll definitely be back and talk to you guys more. Everybody's keeping it respectful, you know, like somewhat, so I'll be back. I'll be back.
Okay, I'm gonna go. I'll be back tomorrow if you're on. All right, take care of yourself, man. Some of your questions and stuff. Try to do some research for myself, too. I appreciate you guys. You have a good night. You too. Take care. Yep. Shalom. Shalom.